At the top of every chart, there are two toolbars. The larger toolbar that begins with the Add Plot button is fixed in the program. But the chart toolbar just below that is customizable to whatever you want to see. There are actually two parts to that toolbar, the left side and then a smaller toolbar at the right side. Let's learn how to edit those. If you want to remove any of the items that are there out of the box, simply click on the item and choose Remove Field, and then Confirm. So you can remove as many of these items as you want in order to make room for data that you may want to put there. Now to add information to that toolbar, right click on the toolbar. This gives you the option to edit toolbar. Click there. Now you'll quickly see both the left and right side toolbars are available to edit. So let's add a few items to our large chart toolbar. To add a field, click the plus sign. Then you can type what you'd like to add. Something like next earnings might be helpful. This is going to put the next earnings date on your chart. Now the edit window allows you to change how that's going to display on your chart. You can change your font size, make it a little bit larger. One of the things I like to do is add a prefix to remind me of what those numbers are going to be at the top of my chart. You certainly could add a fill background of some color and then click OK. And now you can see at the top of my chart is the next earnings date. Let's add a few more items so you can see it one more time. We're going to right click on the toolbar itself and choose edit toolbar. And let's just add a few more things. How about percentage shares held by institutions? And then maybe the beta value. Perhaps we want to know if the stock we're looking at is optionable. And maybe we put latest short interest ratio as well. Now I could add a piece of data to the smaller right side toolbar if I want. So I click the plus sign there. And maybe I add the split date. Now I click OK. And as I space bar through my watch list, each chart will have the correct information that I've asked for at the top of my chart. Now one other quick thing, if I right click and open that edit button, you'll notice there's a small chart toolbar as well. That simply means you can select what you want to see when the size of the chart is reduced to a certain level. So maybe you don't want as much information cluttering the top of the chart when your chart is reduced in size. So maybe you only have a few items there. Click OK. So let's open a smaller chart just so you can get an idea. Notice that when my chart is smaller, I have fewer items. But as my chart enlarges, you'll see the newer items added to my toolbar.